Welcome back to Technology in the Future. Today we're diving into one of the most talked about topics in Apple's ecosystem. Is Apple finally turning the iPad into a true Mac OS-like powerhouse? For years, iPad users have been dreaming of the day their tablet could behave more like a Mac. And with early whispers around iPad OS 19, it looks like that dream might finally be inching toward reality. According to recent insights from reliable sources, including top tech insiders and leakers, Apple could be planning to overhaul multitasking, productivity, and window management in iPad OS 19. Right now, the iPad's multitasking still feels somewhat restricted. You can split apps, but your control is limited. Imagine being able to freely move windows, resize them at will, and have them overlap just like you would on a Mac. That level of flexibility could finally be on the horizon. But here's where things really start to get exciting. There's speculation that iPadOS 19 could introduce a floating window system, complete with overlapping and draggable app windows. Yes, just like on Mac OS. And if that wasn't enough, there's a possibility of windows extending off screen, giving users more visual freedom and workflow control than ever before on an iPad. And that's not all. There's a juicy rumor that's been making the rounds. Some leakers suggest Apple is working on a menu bar experience for the iPad when it's connected to accessories like the Magic Keyboard. That's right. When docked, your iPad might soon display a menu bar at the top, similar to Mac OS with options like File, Edit, and View. Could this be the beginning of a full desktop interface on a tablet? Now, we don't know just how deep Apple will go with this menu bar. Will it support system-wide functions or just be app-specific? Will users be able to customize it like they do on the Mac? Could we even see pinned apps, quick settings, or background utilities show up on that bar? These are questions we're dying to have answered. Still, it feels like Apple is testing the waters rather than diving in completely. One feature I personally hope for, though still not confirmed, is a dual boot option. Imagine toggling between the sleek simplicity of iPadOS and the full macOS experience when docked. That kind of hybrid functionality could redefine mobile computing. While it may be too soon for full macOS support, iPadOS 19 is shaping up to be the most desktop-like version yet. Features like Stage Manager and Advanced File Management could be refined even further, narrowing the gap between tablets and laptops. And speaking of bridging gaps, let's talk iPhone for a second. Some sources claim iPhone OS 19 might introduce stage manager-like multitasking, particularly on models with a USB-C port. Picture this. You connect your iPhone to an external monitor, and boom. You're running a desktop-style interface, managing multiple apps side-by-side. -side. Sounds a lot like Samsung's DeX mode, doesn't it? This kind of feature could be limited to newer iPhone models, likely starting with the iPhone 15 Pro and above, but if it rolls out more broadly, it could seriously shift how we use our phones for work, content creation, and more. So, what does all this mean for Apple's ecosystem? With the lines between Mac OS, iPad OS, and iPhone OS starting to blur, we're witnessing the birth of a more unified and powerful experience across Apple's devices. And with WWDC just around the corner on June 9th, we may not have to wait much longer to see how much of this becomes reality. Will Apple surprise us with a groundbreaking leap forward? Or will they continue their tradition of small, steady steps? Either way, iPad OS 19 and iPhone OS 19 could mark a pivotal shift in how we define mobile productivity and creativity. Let me know in the comments below. What Mac OS-like features are you hoping for on the iPad? Would a full desktop interface excite you? Or do you prefer the unique feel of iPad OS as it is? And what do you think about Stage Manager coming to iPhones? Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you don't miss future updates on Apple's next big move and everything happening in the world of cutting edge tech. Thanks for watching Technology in the Future, where we explore what's next in innovation. I'll catch you in the next one.